Hey guys, so in this video we're going to look in a bit more detail about how to write your script. But let's remind us about the inquiry question. How do artists reflect the culture of their time and place? This is a three minute presentation. You will be stopped after four minutes whether or not you have finished. It can be really hard working to such a tight time frame. The average person talks at about 150 words a minute. So this gives you a total of about 400 words. Your script should be between 400 and 450 words. You should not try to speak too fast as this will make it hard for your audience to understand what you are saying. So let's try and break down the sections and give you some guidance on the words that you should use. Your introduction should be around 50 words. This is where you start explaining the personal and cultural context of the person. Where and when. Space, place and time. Where were they born? When did they die? Where did they live? When did they start producing artwork? So in this example, we can see the student has chosen Picasso. Introduce the first work of art. Describe this work of art. When was it produced? Why? For whom? And are there any messages or symbolism in the work? This picture is Picasso's response to the American involvement in the Korean War. In this picture, we can see a lot of symbolism. So this section should be about 100 words. And those 100 words will break down into 25 words for each section. So your first 25 words could look at the origin aspect of the analysis frame. Have a read of this slide what could be in the origin section. Then there's 25 words for the purpose section. Have a look at this slide to see what could be included in the purpose section. Then there is the content section. Have a look at this slide and see what could be in the content section. You should spend about 25 words on the content section. And finally, for our analysis framework, there's value. You should use about 25 words for value. Look at the value section to see what you could talk about. If you like, you could try to answer these questions one by one, if you have enough time. Now you need to move on to your next artwork. Cleverly, this student has chosen another piece of work by Picasso, but this piece of work is very different, and it has different messages and different symbolism. This is Picasso's bathers drawn in 1918. Here you can see Picasso has emphasised the pr pristine and natural aspects of his painting. It's worth noting this painting was drawn in 1918, which is well before the first piece chosen by the student, which was about the Korean War. Here we can see a big difference in time, space, and place. And finally, you should use around 50 words for your conclusion. It's always useful in your conclusion that you restate the statement of inquiry. So you should say, statement of inquiry, cultural expressions reflects the time, place and space of Picasso in the two pieces of art that I have looked at. Now you'll probably realise that if you stick to these word limits, you've only used 250 words. So this does give you some flexibility. 
Possibly the middle section, which analyses the artwork, will be slightly longer. Hey guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like. You might also like to put a comment at the bottom, and if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, because there are further videos to help you with this assessment task. Thanks for listening.